Hey, this is Nick at North Central Illinois Custom Kydex and MMP Training Group. There's a question in the FN forum on AR15.com about the triggers on some of the FN guns. And uh, some of you might know, I kind of have a soft spot for FN handguns. I have own a few of them. Uh, the question was how the triggers are in the FNX and the FNS and how they compare to the Glock. So. Um, I happen to have uh, all three of those, so I was going to make this quick video to kind of show them. Most people know uh, about Glocks. Glocks have pretty good triggers, short resets. Um, this is a 26. All these guns I'm going to show you today are 9mm. So clear, empty magazine, empty chamber. The Glock trigger, you know, has some take up, but it's smooth take up. Let me get back in the center of the frame. Pretty crisp break. I don't have a trigger pull gauge, so I don't know what that breaks at. And then the reset is very short, very positive. You know when it resets when you're ready to bust off that next round. So, Glock trigger. Pretty good. This is a bone stock Glock 26. Alright, next uh, I'll show you my FNX. Now, this is a hammer fired gun. If you don't know, it can work in a uh, double action or you can carry it cocked and locked in single action like a 1911 so and it has a decocker kind of like an HK or a SIG the double action trigger pull is pretty heavy I don't know if you can see that but uh, it takes a little bit of effort I get a little bit of a shake even pulling that so my preferred method with this gun is to carry it in the hammer back, safety on, cocked and locked position, which gives you a pretty short trigger pull. Little take up, it's all smooth, there's no drag. Uh, crisp break, there's a little creep right right when it breaks. If you pull it real, real slow, you can kind of see that. And uh, the reset, maybe a tad longer than the Glock, but it's as tactile. There's the click you can feel it in the trigger so uh, I, I've not measured weight or the distance for the trigger reset or anything like that but um, to me this is a, a pretty solid um, reset for a stock trigger okay now my new gun here my uh, vaporware gun this is my FNS 9 long slide which they announced a heck of a long time ago and just started shipping to distributors about a week ago. I got mine this weekend. Uh, this gun, also empty. Keep uh, all my guns except for one or two empty all the time. Um, the trigger on this gun, it, now this is a striker fire like the Glock, so you got this take up. The take up is spongy. If you pull it real slow, you can kind of feel some grittiness. I think this has to do with uh, the trigger transfer bar actually rides on the inside of the frame. It actually touches the inside of the frame. And you're either getting some of that feel from that or as the trigger bar pushes the sear safety or the plunger safety block. Um, I'm sure, I'll, you know, putting some rounds to it, this gun's not been fired by me at all. It's just been fired at the factory. But the uh, Anyway, back to the trigger. You got the take up, you hit the wall, and then it just breaks. Um, probably about the same weight as the Glock. You know, I'm, I don't have a trigger pull gauge again, I'm just going by feel. The reset, very short. I think you probably heard that click. You can feel it when it resets. Right there. So, out of the box, stock for stock. I would say that the trigger in the FNS is very similar to the trigger in a Glock. Um, I actually got a buddy probably coming over later today with a, uh, what, I think a Glock uh, 34, I think, that's 34, 36, whatever their 9mm long slide is. And uh, we're going to kind of look at these side by side and see which one we like better. So. Post some comments if you have any any other questions about the triggers. Uh, hope this helps you out.